hello guys this is my review of sim 12.1 beta 4 on canvas event this rom is compatible across all the 10 android 1 devices this rom has its own advantages and disadvantages and let's look into the advantages first if you jump into settings you have the usual cyanogen mode tweaks and customizations the theming engine the notification manager lock screen tweaks etc if you go under sounds you have option to link ringtone and notification volume which will link this ringtone and notification volume which is a handy feature you can also customize the ringtones that is set for sim1 and sim2 this feature is not available in stock room and increasing ring volume feature is also available which will increase your volume ringing volume step by step launching music app by just inserting the headset is also present here and under other sounds there is an option to enable sound when connecting or disconnecting a power source under display and lights there is an option called live display under live display you can customize the display mode that is you can customize you will have four options in it automatic off day and night you can customize the color temperature of the screen for day and night separately this is a very handy feature there is also color calibration options for calibrating the screen color and screen saturation double tap to sleep feature is also available and wake on plug feature is also there here the default LCD density is 240 you can either decrease or increase LCD density according to your wish increasing or decreasing LCD density will reboot the device one of the most important feature of CM 12.1 ROM is expanded desktop if you enable this feature then the whole UI will be available the whole screen estate will be available for the user the navigation and status bar will not be there you can swipe from the bottom of the screen to get to the navigation or status bar you can either enable this feature in uh, throughout the user interface or otherwise you can have it for each and every application you can have it separately for each and every application that is hiding status bar or hiding navigation bar or hiding both of them and there is also an option for customizing the search bar in reasons you can either have the search bar in the reasons or not have the search bar in the reason it is a small feature but it's nice to have that under themes you can customize the whole system or the whole interface of your android you can customize child status bar navigation bar wallpapers and each and every part of the android and this is the most highlighted feature of cm12 you can download the themes from either play store or cm's showcase market which is available in the play store and a notification manager there is an option to disable the heads up or pop-up notification this is a nice feature to have because it's very annoying when heads up notification come up when you are watching a YouTube video or any movie in your device under lock screens you have the option for setting pattern lock and this is a little bit different from the stock one you can have 3 into 3 dots 4 into 4 5 into 5 or 6 into 6 giving 6 into 6 increases the complexity of the lock screen but it also makes it difficult for us to remember the pattern and there is show pattern dots option which will show or not show the patterns in the lock screen 
there is also an option for customizing the lock screen shortcuts you can customize the two lock screen shortcuts we can select any applications calculator contact direct dial and other bunch of features which is available from this menu you can either customize both of them or leave both of them display music visualizer feature will display a visualizer in the lock screen which is a nice feature to have and it comes enabled by default under buttons there are many features which are not required or which cannot be taken into advantage in canva 7 for example the backlight as canva 7 doesn't or any android one phone doesn't have any backlight or any capacitive keys we cannot have this option i don't know why this option is added here there is a left hand mode which is nice to have for left handed persons that is while in portrait mode the navigation bar appears on the left side of the screen there is an option to show arrow keys while typing you guys can see that there is an arrow key there are two arrow keys in the both ends of the navigation bar which can be used for selecting the current position for editing the word you can also customize the layout of the navigation bar or add an extra button search button or menu button or just leave it empty or can customize the position of the keys in it navigation ring targets is another easy feature which gives you shortcut when you swipe from home screen it will give you two shortcuts which can be customized and you can select an application google now take screenshots and some other features which is nice to have under power menu you don't have much options to customize you have the reboot menu phone switcher aeroplane mode and you can also have screenshot now when i press the power button you cannot screen the screenshot option and enable it you will have the screenshot option in it in stock android there is only power off option here and there are also options to customize your volume keys that is changing music with the help of volume keys and also using one of the volume keys as your power button and also option for reorienting the volume button you can also customize the functionality of each and every navigation button under buttons under battery you have mainly three modes power save balance and performance it come default in balanced you can change which mode you want and the battery life in this room have been have been very inconsistent sometimes i get about only one one and a half to two hours of screen on time you guys can see that i have 27 percentage battery left and in some day i get about four hours of battery life i have been using this room for three three days and this is my experience with this room the battery life has been inconsistent the users feature is added here you can add or remove an user adding or removing an user will reboot the device this feature is not available in stock room you can also customize the status bar it comes with the general status bar customizations that is you can customize the clock style left center right or hidden i have my clock in the left side and you can also customize the battery status style we have five options the default option is circle i you i prefer the text one there is also a battery percentage which is only available if you use icon portrait icon landscape or circle
status bar brightness control and show notification count on status bar is available in this ROM and there is an option for showing the empty sim icons or disabling the icon for empty sim icons and the notification drawer you will have the signature signage and mode quick pull down feature that is swiping from the left right will take you to quick toggles and swiping from the left will take you to the notification area you can customize the quick pull down area to right or left or you can keep it off and if you if we have internet connection then there will be a uh, weather that is the today's weather info will be shown next to the time here as we don't have internet here i cannot show you that feature there is also an option to customize the overall notification toggles quick toggles um, i have added heads up notification here and i can disable or enable that feature from here and you can also customize the tiles here which is a nice feature to have there is also option for enlarging the first two row of icons if you disable it uh, you will have three row of icons in the first option and showing brightness slider now there is no brightness slider i use this feature more that is the brightness slider so i tend to leave it on there is an option for advanced location setting which will give you advanced location setting like you get in wi-fi or bluetooth in stock android you can have battery saving device only or high accuracy mode here and these are the tweaks that cm 12.1 has you cannot customize anything under performance mode there is only a enable per app profile option which will automatically switch between power save and performance and balanced according to the app you use maybe this may be the reason why i am getting inconsistent battery life there is also another feature to disable or enable the sim card slots that is the sim 1 and sim 2 you can either activate or deactivate the sim card slots according to your wish and coming to the disadvantages of this rom first of all the battery life has been inconsistent and i also had some force closes where chrome chrome then android keyboard aosp keyboard has stopped this unfortunately force closed and there has been sometimes when the whole ui freezes and the system reboots as this is only a beta 4 build we should expect these bugs here but most of the major bugs are fixed i have only encountered this rebooting twice in three days of usage other than that this is a stable rom which can be a daily driver so stay tuned for more reviews for android one devices and like and subscribe my channel bye